Hello. This time we will learn how to rotate using the world position offset in material. First we add a cube. Then we create a material file. I will name it mRotate. Here is the world position offset. The world position offset is a node that allows you to manipulate the vertices of the mesh. You can manipulate it in various ways, such as movement and distortion. This time, we will focus on rotation. We create a rotate about axis and connect it to world position offset. Rotate about axis is a node that uses an axis, a point on the axis, and an angle, and is great for creating world position offset animations easily. We create a vector parameter, name it axis, and connect it to normalize rotation axis, setting R to 1. Here, RGB corresponds to the X, Y, Z on the axis. This value is a vector value for the axis around which the object will rotate and accepts values between 0 and 1. We create a scalar parameter, name it angle, and connect it to rotation angle. This value is the degree to which the object will rotate, where a value of 1 corresponds to a 360 degree rotation. We create an object pivot point and connect it to pivot point. Pivot point is a value that specifies the point of rotation. This material function returns the pivot point of the object in world space. We will use this later when moving the pivot point. We create a world position and connect it to position. This node outputs the world space location of the current pixel. After saving, we create an instance named MI Rotate. We apply the created material instance to the previously added cube. Then, we change the value of angle in the material instance. You can see it rotating around the 1 tharo by 0 axis. Changing the value of axis will show rotation around each axis. Now, to move the pivot, we will change angle to time for convenience. To control the speed, we rename angle to speed and multiply it. We save it after reconnection. Since the speed value in the created instance is zero, it does not rotate. We add speed value. You can see it continuously rotating. I will open mRotate and add a vector to move the pivot point in the desired axis direction. We create a vector parameter, name it pivot position, and save it to check. If we change the pivot position value of the instance to 100 in R, which means X axis, you can see it moving. It might be hard to see the change, so we will create a sphere, set its size to 0.5, and place it at the same location as the cube. This is just to indicate the origin of the cube. You can test it by changing the values. 